Good morning traders. It is Friday, June 7th. I have taken a, a long position here, not in the trading room. It's only 3.52 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right now. Most of you are asleep, except for those of you on the east coast of the USA. And this is actually the Euro code right here. I'm taking the Euro code gotten a relatively tight 11 tick stop on this down to 4404 just going for 30 ticks on this trade again this is the euro code I'm not in the trading room right now I'm just demonstrating that there are more than one codes to the market being here in Thailand is perfect to take advantage of them anywhere in Europe is also good but if you're in California, it's only 3.54 a.m. right now. Uh, 6.54 if you're in New York time. So even in New York, it's quite early in the morning. But uh, I, when I was living in California, I used to dream of being able to take these trades that I could never do while I lived in California because it just came too early. And Hawaii is also very, very bad because it's three hours even earlier. So, see, Hawaii would be like about two o'clock in the morning right now. So, really bad. And I never lived on the East Coast, so I was never able to use that uh, good time period. But even then, there's ones that aren't so good for that either. But uh, definitely the East Coast is way better than the West Coast for trading. But here in Thailand, and you know what time it is to me here? Let me take a look at my iPhone. It is 5.57 p.m., so almost to 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. to me here right now. So it's like perfect to trade this one and then trade the USA session. It's, make, it's like evening trading, you know. It makes it really nice for me. Anyway, I will come back uh, in a little bit to show the progression of course the outcome of this trade but I'm just going to go for for 30 ticks here up to 44 45 should be able to make it very easily I'll be back want you to notice though how this thing has been doing nothing but go down and then went sideways pretty much and then go down and now I'm taking it long how would I know to go long here you know what what's going to make it go up now all of a sudden now it's going to go up why why would it go up now well <laughs> there is a reason and i track these codes within my charting service and this chart this trade was called out in advance within my charting service and um you know there's nothing like using the codes can't compare them to any other type of trading by the way just to point this out my exit is up at 45, right? Guess what? That means that this thing's got to go from here all the way up to right here. That would be by far the biggest bounce it's made all day long. And now all of a sudden, I'm saying it's supposed to go and do this. Who, who on earth would expect that right now? Who? What trader would expect that? Is there any trader out there, anywhere in the world, that would expect that right now? Probably not. Maybe once it starts getting going, going up, maybe then they would think it would continue to go up. But why right now? When all it's doing is showing nothing but weakness. Why would it, why would it all of a sudden turn direction and go back up and not hit that stop? Well, there is a reason why. And it is because a computer is controlling the movement right now not buying and selling and you're going to see that I'm going to be right and it, and it will move up it will hit my exit for 30 ticks now it might go up even higher I don't know I can't tell that I can't uh, the computer that when it gives away its tells it doesn't tell me exactly how far it will go unfortunately I wish it did but it doesn't I can only tell by its tells if it's going to make a move in another direction or not and uh, or continue with a direction or not like for instance if this was going to continue to go down it would tell me that 
but I know that it's going to go up. And um, my point here is that when you know how the codes work, especially this code, which is the code 2, uh, there's no substitute. You can't compare this to any other type of trading in the world. This is like knowing what's going to happen before it even happens. Okay, the trade is moving up here. I don't expect it to take a whole lot longer to make it to the exit, but it should be able to make it to the 30 tick exit with, uh, without too much difficulty. So, anyway, again, my point to all of this is that I wanted to show you by the use of the codes I could tell where to take an entry that would equal a successful trade going the opposite direction of what it's been going for the biggest bounce that it's made the whole entire day and here's the start of July 7th right here okay uh, Pacific Standard Time California time time is all relative of course uh, but we're talking about California time now. So California time, here's the start of the day. Turned midnight. Okay? And all it's done is gone down. It's never once bounced at all, really. At all. It bounced a little bit here. But then, but did, but nothing going back past this bar just kept going down. Bounced a little bit here, but nothing past this bar. It just came up slightly right there and then headed back down. Now it's making a move straight up and getting very close to my 30 tick exit. How could I possibly have known that it would do that? I mean, there's no logic to explain it outside of the fact that this is all being controlled by a computer. I know how the computer works. I track the code too. I know exactly where it's going to make its move. And, um,. How easy is it to take a trade from that and make money from that? Not too difficult. So anyway, my point is, by knowing the code system, I mean, I think it would be lunacy to trade the market without knowing the codes. That would be just absolute lunacy. It would be crazy why anybody would do something like that. Obviously, if they knew the codes, they would know that. They would know that they would never want to trade without using the code. Because there's no substitute to it whatsoever. Anyway, it's not going to take too much longer for it to hit the exit. I'll come back once it does. By the way, I've now put a break-even stop on the trade. Stop is right here at 16. Entry is at 15. And I'm just letting it go. I'll come back. By the way, just taking a look at the daily chart here. Look at where I bought that. Right down at the bottom of the daily. Right off the bottom. And now it's moving back up. Now imagine buying after the thing has gone down. Straight down. Way down at the bottom. And you're betting that it's going to move back up again. I mean, who, who would make that bet? Not too many people out there. But when you know the codes... It makes it easy to make such a bet because it really isn't a bet at all. It's just mathematics. Basic, simple mathematics. Or basic, simple chart, if you want to call it that. Based upon how the computer operates, how it works, how it moves. The tells that it gives away. Which have to all be tracked now because uh, they do change it from week to week so that's why I track it within my charting service but uh, once you learn the codes you can track it yourself you can do the exact same thing or you can pay me from the charting service to track it for you or you can just uh, do the trading room and just follow my trades but I don't uh, have the trading room open at this particular time so you could learn the codes yourself do the charting service if needed and take these trades um, to be able to make money at this time and make even more money than just my charting service, for instance. I take this particular trade all the time. So, anyway. Anyway, I'll come back once it's made it to the exit.
Okay, the trade is almost there. Now keep in mind, look at where I purchased. Way down here, towards the very, very bottom of the 10 minute chart. Now imagine that somehow, some way, I knew that it was going to go all the way up and it will continue to go up. It's probably, if I had to take a guess, it's probably going to go somewhere up to about 50, maybe even 60, maybe. Uh, you know, it could go anywhere up there. But getting out at 45, actually it's the top right there at 45, it's probably going to get broken and come up somewhere up here. But I'm just taking 30 ticks, just a mathematical 30 ticks, not based upon anything else other than just a 30 tick trade from my entry. Um, if it goes all the way up, you know, up here, I could say, oh, well, I should have, you know, did, you know, went for more, blah, blah, blah. But it's just a 30 tick trade to me. That's all it is. That's all I care about. But my point is that somehow, some way, I knew even after going way down, I could just take one entry and take a 30 ticks from this, from the, from the market. And the reason why is, again, because it's being controlled by a computer. I know how the computer works. I teach it within my code videos. This is actually using code 2. And, um, and I track this every day in my charting service. Every single day I track it. And I called this code to be good for this week. It's been good every day this week. And it's obviously good today as well on Friday. So anyway, we're almost there, five ticks away from the exit, and um, should be able to make it, no problem. Anyway, I'll come back. Oh, and uh, I've got trading coming up in a little while for the trading room. That comes up in one hour, a little less than one hour, 57 minutes to be exact. I'll be inside the trading room. And we're going to take another trade based upon another code. I'm just using the Euro session code right now that comes during the European time. Um, everybody in Europe can easily take this trade, obviously. We're going to go to 44. Almost there. It'll hit. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, it has hit for the 30 ticks. So anyway, I'm done with this trade now, and now I'm going to be doing some trading within the trading room in 56 minutes from now. So I'm going to get ready for that to come, and I'm going to take another trade. Hope all the traders are doing well. Hope you're being inspired by the codes, and I hope that you uh, charting subscribers out there were able to hit this trade just like I did. Anyway, I will be back later to... Uh, upload another video for the day trading I do in the trading room. Happy trading out there.